day, second grades, and welcome to another day of learning. I am so, so happy you are here. So let's get our day started. So welcome to morning meeting, and let's begin with prayer. So everyone go ahead, take a deep breath in, and let it out. One more deep breath in, and let it out. Awesome. With our right hand, same it goes over our heart. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, thank you for giving us a brand new day. Thank you for allowing us to come together online and learn. I pray that you keep everyone safe within our family, that they can feel loved, and hopefully we can come back together soon. So go ahead and say your prayer intention right now, either out loud or just in your heart. So for all these prayers that we said out loud and the ones we hold in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Okay, let's end our prayer again with our right hand. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, Super Scholars, now it's time for our morning check-in. Let's ask ourselves, how are we feeling this morning? So I'm going to use a nice little book to write on mine. But we're first going to start with that orange box, the orange box. How are you feeling today on a scale from five to one? How are you feeling from five to one? Let me know. Let's see. And then the yellow box. Why are you feeling the way you are? Why did you pick that number? Just draw, scribble down some notes. Why did you pick your number? Hmm. And then green. What are you grateful for? What is bringing you joy this morning? What are you saying thank you for? Hmm. Okay, I finished my check-in. If you need a couple more minutes, just pause it. It's totally okay. So I'm going to share mine with all of you. I am feeling a five today. And what's on my mind? That's because I got a good night's sleep, which always is a key to a five. And I'm always looking forward to reading groups. I got to see the cheetahs yesterday. Today I get to see the tigers. And I'm really excited that we have started reading groups. And then lastly, what I'm thankful for, I'm always thankful for my family and food. I love having food to make and that I can bring with me to school. So that is my morning check-in. If you would like to share your check-in with me, I would love to see it. Instead of posting your thumbs up picture today on Dojo, take a picture of your morning check-in and let me know how you're doing today. I would love to see. Awesome, okay, Super Scholars. We prayed and we checked in with how we're doing this morning. So now we're going to remind ourselves of our train of the month, which is mindset. So let's go take a look. Welcome back to our trait of the month board. Remember for September, we are still focusing on our mindset, how we think about tasks that we are facing. And our mindset reminds us, it's the belief that your ability can be developed through hard work, that through practice and motivation, you can change something hard to become easy for yourself. It's just all up to you and how you approach that hard task you're doing. So we again are gonna say our mantra 
Our mantra is something that is supposed to be repeated and said again and again. So it is now time to remind ourselves to be positive, to always think that there is a possibility that we can get better if we just keep working. So here we go. Mirror words. I am positive. I am positive. I am positive. Mirrors down. We're going to repeat that every day for the rest of September when we come to our trade of the month board to remind ourselves to always, always use our mindset and the power of yes. Next, we've got a new quote of the week. Remember, a quote is something that a person has said that's usually used for inspiration and to help people. So our quote this week that goes with using our super awesome mindset is, it's kind of fun to do the impossible. It's kind of fun to do the impossible. So what could that possibly mean? That it's fun to do the impossible. If something's impossible, it means you think it might have never been done before. It might not happen. But if we use our mindset, we can flip our idea of what we think is impossible and see it as a fun challenge. That it's something we can overcome, that we can beat. If it's fun to do the impossible, it means we enjoy working hard and we enjoy doing something we've never done before. That's why I think it's fun to do the impossible. Keep that in mind. If I'm doing something hard, you know what? It's kind of fun because it's never been done before and I will get better once I do it. Okay, Super Scholars, reminder today to always stay positive and always use your super awesome mindset. Let's go back to the library to introduce our question of the day. Awesome. Welcome back to the library and I have one last thing for you today, which is our question of the day. Remember, we are now answering our question of the day on Flipgrid. You have all the passwords to log on to Flipgrid. You guys did an amazing job last week on your first one. So this is going to be another opportunity where you can go on Flipgrid to answer the question of the day so all your friends can see your answers and you can see your friends as well. So here's the question. If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? So think about it. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? For breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. The only food you could eat. What would it be and why? If I could eat only one food for the rest of my life, it would be mac and cheese because there's so many different kinds of cheeses and pastas you could make it with. You can also add in so many toppings as well. There's endless possibilities with mac and cheese. So that is the food I would choose. So go right now on to Flipgrid and answer your question of the day there. Then once you're done, either take that thumbs up picture or take a picture of your morning check-in mat to let me see. I can't wait to see everyone's questions of the day.